by the way gang there's a lot of stuff going on right one of the places that there's a tremendous amount of stuff going on is africa okay huge 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 now i put out an article uh, more than one article but i compile it all into one article is a four piece five piece article basically and i started working on this thing back in 2011 or so and i put out the main piece in 2013 i added an attack and set last piece to it in 2014 right so in 2010 2011 it became clear to me that africa was in trouble okay so i'm not going to read chat for a second and i'm going to give you a little intro regarding africa because i think it's important to just plant the seed right because at the time when i put out this article this huge piece and this was in 2013 i'm going to link it up in our chat okay apologies if i'm not going to be reading the article again um uh, reading the article reading um the the chat for a second okay let me just close this thing up now i titled this article the future of africa looks bleak here is why and when i put out this article and at the time i was getting a lot of my articles on my site were getting a lot of views were circulating a lot and i got some flack people coming back at me telling me that oh chicho i don't know what you know you don't know what you're talking about uh globalization is great there's a lot of investment going into africa and africa is going to be prosperous for many years to come this is just the beginning and my reply to them was read my article you guys don't know what the hell it is you're talking about the future of africa looks bleak here is why and i want to read you the introduction to this piece it's a four-part piece and an introduction to it okay all i'm going to do is i'm going to read you the first two paragraphs in this introduction and then i'm going to read you the titles of each of the subsections important to keep this in mind okay so wrote this in 2013 february 2013 uh, pieces put together in 2011 2012 compiled all 2013 and whatnot right the future of africa looks bleak here's why introduction contrary to what some have been hoping for the future of africa looks to be bloodier than its past the reasons for this are vast and varied as the continent itself such as resources oil water land minerals economic interests of external powers growth trade mon monetary policy and ideological differences structure of government cor corruption tradition ethnicity one of the main reasons that this scramble for africa has intensified in the last few years and will most likely continue to escalate for the next few decades is because western nations are losing major battles on multiple multiple other fronts just to name a few the coalition of the willing has lost iraq as well as afghanistan syria is a stalemate pakistan yemen somalia libya algeria congo and mali are a disaster bahrain is in lockdown latin america is freeing itself from u.s control and israel has gone rogue okay to this you can also add south africa and uh, ethiopia as well okay now the subsections that i broke this into are the following apologies again I'm, i'll read the chat after i finish this that way i can zap this up as a as a segment and load it up in the individually um as a standalone because we're not uploading this full live stream onto sensor two right part one western powers go full retard on africa china versus africom a resource war the too long to read a too long didn't read version one sentence summary of what i just wrote there of the data presented in part one africa has resources that are required to maintain our current economic system that's what part one talks about part two france has forgotten the battle of algiers africa never will ordinary victories by manu larsenet nar larsen net okay and too long didn't read version 
Atrocities were committed in the first scramble for Africa. Atrocities will be committed in this one as well. Okay. And in that one, I link up comic pages from a comic book called Ordinary Victories. Fantastic comic book, French comic book. Highly recommend reading it. Part three, recolonization of Africa is a symptom of our addiction to growth. Differential accumulation, why GDP growth rates influence foreign policy. The too long didn't read version of that is many Western powers are facing a serious economic crisis and they believe that Africa, assumed to be a soft target, will provide a lifeline. Okay, remember, I wrote this in 2013, that's how obvious it was where we were headed. Part four title The Subjugation of Africa, the Battle for a Continent full throttle into oblivion okay too long didn't read version links to some recent developments news and information that will complement our discussion so far libya nigeria egypt sudan water food china and the united states okay now if you know what's going on in africa right now read this piece Remember, I wrote this in 2013 and I got a lot of flack for it because people were like, oh, Chicho, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. I go, dude, you guys have no idea what's coming. And the one optimum sentence thing to keep in mind here, I said it's, it's going to be like this for a few decades to come. For the next few decades, what's happening in Africa is not going to stop. It's going to continue. I just wanted to share that uh, because uh, right now Libya they annihilated the highest the country with the highest standard of living the Western powers we did South Africa has completely collapsed Ethiopia is in civil war what is it a third quarter of its military just got wiped out okay Egypt is in trouble especially in regards to water the United States just bombed Somalia again okay and so on and so forth aside from that I'm going back to the chat